a respectable man and much esteemed. George Clymer of Pennsylvania, merchant, continental treasurer, Second Continental Congress delegate, and signer of the Declaration of Independence, guest essayist Gordon Lloyd. George Clymer, 1739 through 1813, was born in Philadelphia, orphaned the next year, and then mentored to be a merchant and responsible citizen by his wealthy uncle. He died in Morrisville, Pennsylvania at age 74 and was buried in Trenton, New Jersey. In addition to being economically and politically active, Clymer supported the abolition of slavery and the development of the practical arts and sciences. Clymer was an early supporter of the movement for independence. He opposed both the Tea Act and the Stamp Act in the early 1770s. He served as Continental Treasurer, a representative in the Pennsylvania legislature and delegate to the Second Continental Congress. He was one of six delegates to sign the 1776 Declaration of Independence and then the 1787 Constitution as part of the Constitutional Convention. The other five delegates who signed both documents included Benjamin Franklin, Robert Morris, George Reed, Roger Sherman, and James Wilson. Clymer was elected to the United States House of Representatives in 1789, where he supported Sherman in the successful effort to pass the Bill of Rights in 1791. He also helped President George Washington enforce whiskey excise taxes in Pennsylvania. Despite Clymer's extensive involvement in the story of the American founding, he is not on the list of influential or even underrated founders. We attribute this to Clymer's inclination to work behind the scenes on the various committees to which his colleagues elected him. He reminds us of the steady and vital work done by individuals who do not seek the limelight. Contemporary William Pierce of Georgia, who provided character sketches of multiple founders, portrayed him as a respectable man and much esteemed. George Lloyd is the Robert and Catherine Dawson Professor of public policy at Pepperdine University. He earned his Bachelor of Arts degree in economics and political science at McGill University. He completed all the coursework toward a doctorate in economics at the University of Chicago before receiving his Master of Arts and Ph.D. degrees in government at Claremont Graduate School the co-author of three books on the American founding and sole author of a book on the political economy of the New Deal. He also has numerous articles, reviews, and opinion editorials to his credit. His latest co-authored book, The New Deal and Modern American Conservatism, A Defining Rivalry, was published in 2013, and he most recently released as editor Debates in the Federal Convention of 1787 in September 2014. He is the creator, with the help of the Ashbrook Center, of four highly regarded websites on the origin of the Constitution. He has received many teaching, scholarly, and leadership awards, including admission to Phi Beta Kappa and the Howard White Award for Teaching Excellence at Pepperdine University. He currently serves on the National Advisory Council for the Walter and Leonore Annenberg Presidential Learning Center through the Ronald Reagan Presidential Foundation. <laughs>